Hello guys, and welcome to today's video all about all TF2 quote-unquote fauna by me. Let's get into it. Sector 1, Friendlies, Common. 1. The Pudis Bird, Botia Aves. Pudis birds are so common they can be found literally anywhere except cold front and snow plow. They are very versatile in their living conditions, so much so that they have been spotted in large groups even in Banana Bay, Pier, Granary, Well, and even in the smoggy conditions of Manhattan and Manworks. Buddhist birds are also well renowned for their well known chirp, although yet common yet. Their diet is typically worms, insects, and sometimes small lizards, but have been known to snipe on human foot occasionally. Their main predators are edgeworm snipers, skunks, tryhard spies, oblivious scouts, and of course the ever so invasive sniper bots. Fun fact Did you know that Buddhist birds were introduced to spy crabs to help with their population, and it's been working well? 2. Midden Hoovy, Midas Abavius. Midden Hoovies are primates, which look strikingly like humans, except they have large woolly hands that resemble mittens. Even though Midden Hoovy is categorized as friendly, they can still be a bit mischievous, causing people to laugh uncontrollably. They are usually found in Banana Bay, Mercenary Park, Two Fork, Enclosure, and Borneo. A common misconception about Midden Hoovies is that they eat bananas, pineapples, coconuts, and nothing else. However, this is very untrue. While they sometimes will eat a banana if provided by a human, they will not find pineapples in their natural habitats and refuse to eat coconuts anyway. Instead, they eat ants, wasps, nuts, figs, apricots, and berries. Some have even learned to fish and passed on their knowledge for generations. Since they are large and strong, they don't, admit, they don't have many predators. They are preyed on following. They are not limited to edgelord snipers, tryhard spies, and of course, bots. 3. The Olivia Scout, Obivarin scaracious. Olivia Scouts, often found in areas where predators and tryhards are abundant, are classed as friendly because they are so dumb they often aren't even a threat, and even if they do have menacing weapons. Be wary though, the Olivia Scouts are still technically predators, so they aren't total pushovers. They mainly live in hostile areas such as Two Fort, Double Cross, Badwater Basin, High Tower, Egypt, and here. Their main prey are Pudis birds, however, they have also been known to stupidly challenge pyro sharks and demonites, often ending at least with a good whooping to them. This species of scout is so dumb, in fact, that they may try to mate with incompatible species, often ending in the same result as before. If they are desperate enough, they will cannibalize each other, so don't think they're too harmless. Still, they are quite small, so all you need to do is make a loud noise to scare them off. Predators. Pretty much everything that isn't a friendly. Fun fact. Did you know that if it is raining, an oblivious scout will not understand what is happening and just sit there? I'm gonna like a koala. 4. Engineer Train. Evanigius Tinnitus. The engineer train is a newly discovered species of friendly, and there is nearly nothing known about them currently. They got their name by hanging around the train tracks and forming long lines occasionally, which still puzzles zoologists to this day. They are only known to one habitat so far, High Tower. It appears they have often come out. However, because so many have been marked, we can only assume their population is healthy. There is so little known about this mysterious creature that the only known predator of this species of engineer are bots. Not much is known about their diet either, although it's highly speculated they are herbivores. Sector 2 Friendlies Endangered 1. The Spy Crab Skitterinus bracura. Spy crabs are a well known species that unfortunately is also well hunted. They've been preyed on since their discoverance, and there's only us to blame. The spy crab is a very basic, yet staple of a creature in an ecosystem. They feed on decaying matter and sand, making them vital cleanup crews for many ecosystems that don't have a lot of degraders. They live in, pla they live in places such as, but are not limited to, Banana Bay, Two Fork, Sawmill, Enclosure, Borneo, Gold Rush, Snake Water, Swift Water, and Pier. Unfortunately, due to mass hunting and pollution, they have been pushed back into the hostile territories of High Tower and Bad Water Base, where they hide in small caves, rarely coming out to eat and mate. With your help, we can recover this precious species back to its former state. Fun fact, did you know that a group of spy crabs is called a baguette? 
This is because of the long yet thick lines they create. 2. The Memdove Megadiac Columbidae Memdoves are very shy, but have been known to be good friends with Buddhist birds. They are also compatible mating figures, so Buddhist birds have been used in an effort to save their species. Memdoves, although shy, do dish out quite a bit of damage if you get near their eggs, so leave the nests alone. They eat mainly beetles and ants, although will occasionally eat breadcrumbs off the ground. They live in places such as Enclosure, Borneo, Thunder Mountain, Upward, Powerhouse, and even Manhattan. They have a much more shrill chirp than Buddhist birds, which can be used to ward off predators. That being said, their main predators are as follows, but are not limited to Tryhard Spies, Pyrosharks, Demonites, Bots, Skunks, and sometimes oblivious Scouts. Sector 3 Tryhards Non specific. 1. Pyroshark. Fire and cell action warfare. Pyrosharks are, of course, sharks, meaning they are waterlogged. They are solitary creatures that will often fight each other, but not necessarily kill each other. They are very aggressive, so if you see one, stay away. They dwell in the waters of Two Fort, Banana Bay, Pier, Mercenary Park, Awakened Snake Water, and even Powerhouse. They are carnivores, and their main prey are oblivious scouts to get too close or midden movies which happen to be strong by. They are in competition with demonites for food, and... Excuse me, my brother would. My brother just walked in. And this war has been going on for as long as anyone can remember. They are both melee based, so it may seem fair. However, battles can be extremely one sided depending on the territory and the prey being fought over. They don't have many predators besides spots and demonites. However, many species under the true try hard category have been known to harass them even instead of food. Fun fact Did you know that pyrosharks can form emotional bonds with almost anyone at birth and really enjoy bananas? and lemons. 2. The Demonite Demodocus Nocturnal Demonites are highly territorial and do not appreciate invaders near their groups called prides. A pride of demonites could easily maul a midden movie, so if you see one, best to slowly back away while not breaking eye contact. If you hear the ever so fear inducing scream and what feels like wind on your back, it's already too late. Demonites, while highly territorial, do have a soft spot. If you approach them and make yourself look weak and harmless, they will not attack you on the specific provoked, and some may even attempt to groom. They are fighting a constant war against Pyroshark for food, however, and some have, even, some have even lost their young in these intense battles. They live in high temperature and rocky terrain, such as High Tower, Babylon Basin, Two Fort, Banana Bay, Dubu Keep, and Powerhouse. They are carnivores, often hunting oblivious scouts and sometimes even try on spies, although they have been known to snap Buddhist birds that get a bit too close. 3. The Edgelord Sniper Edgedirin Snipiwin Edgelord Snipers are an apex predator in terms of hunting and are not to be messed with. With their long-range powerful snipers, they could easily put one between your eyes and feast on your corpse. Edgelord Snipers are solitary creatures and avoid conflict with each other, but have been known to duel. And when they do duel, everyone stops to watch. Even the Pyro Sharks and Demonites halt when what they're doing even mid-fight to watch the chaos. They live in high-altitude areas such as High Tower, Upward, Thunder Mountain, and even Brazil. That being said, they also have been spotted in two forts, so keep a guard on them. They eat Buddhist birds, oblivious scouts, stunts, and even tryhard spies. While not in competition, it can be argued that the Edgelord Sniper is at rivalry with the tryhard spy. Fun fact! Did you know that if you T-pose in front of an Edgelord Sniper, it will pause what it is doing, get confused, and then go back to what it was doing? 4. The Skun Skunks don't respect anyone, and nobody respects skunks. If you meet one, chances are you are not in danger but will soon be engaged in mass annoyance. That being said, they live in groups and can be dangerous together. They live in places such as, but not limited to, Two Fort, Hightower, Upward, Samuel, and Brazil. If you plan on visiting these areas, make sure to keep your belongings tight to yourself, because skunks will have been known to steal possessions and often don't give them back. They hunt together and use teamwork to get a kill for the whole group, which is both impressive since, well, they're skunts, but also troubling since they are actually very efficient in this. 
One will act injured, and when the prey goes to investigate, the others ambush the prey and annihilate it. If you see a skunk that looks injured, under no circumstances should you approach it. Their main prey are Brutus birds, oblivious scouts, spy crabs, and sometimes midden hoovies and memnos. 5. The Trolldrum. Pedetagus Troll. Trolldrums are a bit of a difficult creature creature to class, simply because while they are extremely ridiculous, they tend to cause you harm and harm, so we just put them under the try hard not specific category. Trolldrums have been well known in areas such as Hightower, Upward and Harvest, however have occasionally been spotted in Toothfoot as well. Their main diet consists of Oblivious Scouts and Oblivious Scouts only, and while they do sometimes eat other meat if forced to. A Trojan's way of hunting, or just getting around, involves merely flying around using the rocket jumper and then smacking its prey with, with its back mounted shuttle. Trojans are solitary creatures and only ever meet up to mate. As soon as baby Trojans are born, they go live off their own, on their own as they already know everything they need. Fun fact Did you know that a Trojan once was caught stealing a camera and immediately dropped it and retrieved it when it was found out that it caught? That he was. Moving on. Sector 4, Tryhards. True. 1. The Tryhard Spy. Skittery. Skitterinus Tryhard. Tryhard spies like the Edgelord Sniper are an apex predator and solitary. They will use camouflage that makes them so well hidden they are almost invisible, and they sneak up on their prey and deliver a killing blow to the back. They have poor eyesight, but this is made up. But this is made up with their incredible senses of smell and hearing. They can detect a pyro from two point eight miles away, just to give you an idea. They typically reside in Two Fort, High Tower, Badwater Basin, Five Gorge, Rebel Pit, and Snake Water. However, they are so well hidden that they may be found in other places as well, although unlikely. The Tryhard Spy is unique in the way that they dance in competition for a mate, whereas not even Buddhist birds or memdoves do the same. Their main diet consists of oblivious scouts, skunks, Buddhist birds, mitten hoovies, and sometimes edgelord snipers. 2. The Tryhard Soldier Pedeticus Tryhard Tryhard soldiers are surprisingly smart and will often rocket jump much like a soldier, except with much more efficiency and doing less of it. They will usually be pocketed involuntarily by a medic because the medic simply wants protection, and by healing the tryhard soldier, it receives massive protection. Tryhard soldiers move in packs of two to three, however, the largest recorded pack was five tryhard soldiers and three pocket medics. They live in hostile areas such as Badwater Basin, Double Cross, Swiftwater, Gravel Pit, and Egypt. They are omnivores, meaning they can eat pretty much anything, but do prefer meat and really plants to stay alive in an emergency. Their only known predator are bots, however, they do get in kerfuffles with edgelord snipers and tryhard scouts. 3. The Tryhard Scout Sparacious Tryhard Tryhard Scouts are the only omnivore that is this strong, mainly because they are so fast. Tryhard Scouts mainly eat plant matter, but won't hesitate to munch on meat, often stealing some from pyrotrachs demonites. They are solitary creatures, but do come around for quote-unquote meetings that serve no purpose except simply socializing. They live in Double Cross, Two Fort, Battle Basin, High Tower, Steel, and Sawmill. Their main prey are skunks, however they de 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 Sorry, their main player are skunks, however they need to pick one off and quickly scurry away with it since skunks live in such large groups. This is of course not a problem for the Tryhard Scout, as they are just so fast. Fun fact, did you know that one time a Tryhard Scout bonked a Tryhard Soldier on the head and got away with it on camera? Okay guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Please consider subscribing and sharing with a friend, and I'll see you later. Bye!